Hi everyone, I am Shala Mari Dilao. So welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's vlog, I'm going to discuss audio-visual media. Audio-visual materials are the most complete resources for teachers due to their availability and versatility. It is designed to aid in learning or teaching by making use of both hearing and sight, and also those things that can be understood by observing visual aspects of any things. Definition of Concepts Audio Material This is the tools to convey information through sound. This is the materials on which we can convey information through sounds that are stored or recorded and can be reproduced. Next is visual material. This is the tools to convey information through sight. This refers to pictures or images and graphic organizers that can be used in the classroom to make easier learning and can be motivating. Next is audio. It refers to sound reproduced by a computer or any device able to play it. This is also a sound specially when recorded, transmitted, or reproduced in any specific frequency. Next is video. Video is an electronic medium for recording, copying, broadcasting of moving visual images. This is also a technology that involves the recording and playing back of moving pictures and sounds. So here are the functions of audiovisual materials. First, teaching music, literature, science, and documentation activities. Second, teaching language and other content areas. Third, to foster oral communication. Fourth, to motivate interpretation or best motivators. Fifth, to make use of sketches and broadcast. Audiovisual materials can encourage both the students and teachers to interact with each other effectively. First type of audiovisual materials is audio media. Under audio media is recordings. This is a disc or a tape on which sounds or visual images have been recorded. This is where our files can be reproduced and being stored. Next is radio broadcast. This is the transmission of radio programs that can be live or taped. This is the distribution of audio or video content through mass communication media. Second type of audiovisual materials is visual media. Under visual media is bulletin boards. It is a form to display information on a board. This is where notices and public messages are being displayed so that people will be able to know the current activities and able to understand it carefully. Next is posters. This is a form of displaying information which uses images and text that can be used in decoration or advertisement. Third type of audiovisual materials is audiovisual media. Under audiovisual media is motion picture videos. This is a videos or sound mixed with motion images. This is also called film or a movie that uses lights that gives illusion of actual, smooth, and continuous movement. Next is films. This is a large sequence of animated scenes and sounds, as well as the series of moving images shown on a screen with sounds and its story. Example for that is the movies or films that we watch on Netflix or other resources. Next is the guidelines for audiovisual materials in learning and teaching. First, images should be as small as possible. Second, Always provide alternative contents. Third, check copyright. Fourth, use MP4 format a size of 640 by 400 and a speed of 500 kbps. Fifth, provide transcripts for audio and video files. Sixth, save audio files in mono format. We should apply these guidelines in order for us to have effective learning and teaching. Next is uses of audiovisual materials. 
First, stimulate interest and emphasize. Second, promote efficiency. Third, clarify subject matter topics. This will help the teacher to present the lesson effectively and students learn and retain the concepts better and for longer duration. Next is the advantages and the disadvantages of using audiovisual materials in teaching. So, there are three advantages in using audiovisual materials in teaching. First, provides diverse teaching techniques for learning. Second, simplify and clarify complex topics. Third, allow students to learn at their own pace. So these three advantages will help students to give clear concepts and helps to bring accuracy in learning. Opposite for that is the disadvantages. First disadvantages is to prepare it, good pronunciation is needed. Second, it can be difficult to understand for children. Third, a good internet speed is required. Fourth, the proper equipment is needed. Written and oral communication takes much time to exchange information, so visual techniques help to prevent the wastage of time. Next is ways to use audio to support learning. First, interviews with subject matter experts. This can be used as core or support for lessons. This is to ensure the facts and details are correct so that the projects or programs will be delivered properly which is accurate to the needs for the stakeholders, standards, and practices. Next is student-generated recordings. This is used as part of a learner activity or to record evidence. This is to enhance and encourage students to reflect, refresh their memory, and re-engage their thoughts. Next is recordings of public lectures. Those can be purposed and used for different contexts and subjects. This will help teachers to make their classes more inclusive and also help students who are not native in English. Next is the ways to use video to support learning. First, to demonstrate experiments. Second, to demonstrate decision-making processes. Third, to summarize. Fourth, to illustrate performance and music. Fifth, to show practical activities. This can be used to keep potential, current, and former students involved and engage their learning. Type of producing audiovisuals is planning. This is the most critical aspect of producing, which requires stating a purpose, brainstorming, and having an accurate preparation. So this will help instructors to develop their teaching techniques with the use of audiovisual materials. Next is production. This is the shooting or recording stage is what the most people consider the production phase of an audio or video project. Production functions assist in making decisions plus provide guidance and thus provide logical and useful analysis. Next is publishing. This is the final part of producing audio or video for educational purposes and referred to us as post-production. Publishing involves the process of producing and distributing literature so that the public can have access to it. First is Audacity. It's a free and open source digital audio editor and a recording application. This is where you record and arrange your videos. So next is GarageBand. It is one of the best free tools to use to produce music. And it is definitely the most accessible tool for producing great music, which record and edit sounds. Next is Windows Media. It is a software application from Microsoft used to play, store, and organize digital audio, images, and video. Window Movie Maker. This is the video editing program which allows you to quickly build a personalized movie that can be customized further by adding titles, transitions, and video effects. Next is Virtual DJ. It is a software with an intuitive user interface which used to edit sounds and videos. Next is QuickTime Pro. It is a video editing software that uses to handle time synchronized data. And lastly is to publish. It uses the web accessing to YouTube, Vimeo, 
our slideshare.